Hey guys, it's Smitha. Welcome back to my channel. In continuation of all my Diwali looks for the year, today's look is going to be super simple. A lot of you have told me that you like to go really simple for the festival. So here it is. I've barely used any eyeshadows, just a couple of them. So let's get this started. And if you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I had applied a moisturizer on my face about 20 minutes ago. Everything is seeped in. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face using the Instant Age Rewind Primer from Maybelline. For foundation, I'm using the Giordana Creamy Foundation in Toast and I'm going to be applying this using the Sigma Kabuki brush on my face and neck. I'm going to be using this cream contour from the Coastal Scents Concealed Palette and I'm going to be first applying it with a flat shader brush and then I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty sponge. And then I'm going to be using a concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. I'm just using this around my eyes to conceal any darkness like dark circles and dark patches. And then again, I'll be blending it out with a damp beauty sponge. To stop this concealer from creasing, I'm going to set it using the Fit Me Powder from Maybelline in Medium. For blush, I'm using a Rose Pink from the BH Cosmetics Blush Palette. And for highlighter, I'm using the Milani Strobe Light in Champagne Pearl. Using my Sigma highlighter brush, I'm going to dust this on the high planes of my face. Because I have very thick eyebrows, to groom it, I'm going to be using this pencil from Ardell. It's basically a brow wax, so it'll keep all the hair in its place. And then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Pro Pomade in dark brown, I'm going to fill in the sparse areas using my angled brush. And then I'm going to comb all my hair using a spoolie just so the color spreads across evenly. I'm taking no filter from the Tartist Pro Amazonian Clay Palette with a smaller blending brush. I'm going to carve out that outer V. I'm just going to place it there and then I'm going to take a larger blending brush, the Sigma E40 and blend out everything so it looks soft and well blended into my skin. I'm going to smoke out the same shadow in my outer two thirds of the lower lash line using a small pencil brush. Using the Super Shock Shadow from Colourpop in Paisley, I'm going to highlight my inner corners as well as brow bones. I'm using a nude color eye pencil from Rimmel in my waterline. Using a nude color in your waterline makes your eyes appear bigger. And then I'm going to finish up my eye makeup by applying a coat of mascara. This is the Big Shot Mascara from Maybelline because I'm not wearing falsies today. You can wear false lashes if you like, but I'm going to skip the whole thing and keep it very simple. Because I'm not wearing false lashes, I am going to coat the top part of my lashes as well with mascara. On my lips, I wanted a pop of red to complement my super simple eye makeup, so I'm going with the Maybelline Super Stay Liquid Lipstick in Keep Up The Flame. It comes with the lip balm, so I'm going to first use it to smoothen out my lips before I use the lipstick. Thank you. 
And that's it, you guys. How quick and easy was that? And you still look so well put together. I love such looks where it gets done in no time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I think most of you will be able to recreate this look because it's so simple and so quick. If you plan to recreate, don't forget to tag me on social media. I've listed all the links in the description box below. I've also listed all the products that I've used in today's tutorial in the description box below. If you enjoyed watching me, as always, don't forget to hit the like button, share my video as well as comment below and let me know. As always, I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with another tutorial. Bye guys.